Hello, this is Jabri Ransom of Nerd Caliber, here at the Lyceum Entertainment himself. Let me ask you, how'd you get into the photography business? Like, how'd you start doing cosplay photo shoots? All right, so basically, um, when I moved up here, uh, one of my friends, he's a cosplayer as well, uh, cosplayer Kyo, um, I just started going out to cons with him, you know, and just loving the experience. And I was like, all right, this is cool, you know, it's a, it's a different atmosphere, you know. Um, it's a nice community. So I was like, all right, I want to be a part of that community. How do you be a part of that community? You get yourself involved. You, um, you dress up, you know what I mean? So I started dressing up shortly after going to a few cons. Um, and I was a Tosin from Bleach. And um, yeah, so the only problem is I am very particular in looking like the character. And Tosin was one of those characters that I felt I fit, you know, the shape and everything for. And I could not necessarily find another, you know, character that I could fit it so well. So I was like, how do I be a part of this community and still, you know, function? So I picked up photography. And, you know, I started out like last year sometime taking photography a whole lot more seriously. Um, of course, a lot of us like pictures, you know what I mean? We like snapping pictures, we get a point and shoot. But to like really like take it and see it from an artistic point of view, you know what I mean? To make beautiful pictures, you know, I just started that recently. And then, you know, what really got my breakout was <clears throat> I shot Yaya Han and you know, she posted one of those images, and from there, I was like, wow. You know, I didn't know who she was at the time. It's kind of crazy. I'm just going around shooting people. And my friends are looking at my pictures and like, oh, man, you got Yaya Han. What, what? I'm like, who's, who's Yaya Han? But no, she's, she turns out to be a big deal. And I was like, okay, let me see where can, I can go from here. And so I started getting more seriously. Can we ask you a brief question on how you like Elysium Entertainment's photography skills? Uh, well, I met uh, Kay. I think last year at KatsuCon, and um, he had a very interesting setup, so that's how I remembered him. And then when he posted his photos, I thought his style was a very different, very high fashion glamour. And uh, But he also brought a, an artistic feel to the pictures, which I think is really great for cosplay. So uh, we shot a couple of times at Otakon and DragonCon, and then for Katsu this year, I knew he had a good setup, so we definitely wanted to shoot at least all of my new costumes that I was um, making for this con. Can you go into a little more detail about your photography experience? I mean, you've been a lot of cons. Do you find it difficult to work with certain cosplayers, or do they oh, yeah. really like working with you? Oh yeah, okay. Not everybody's a model. Someone like Yaya, you can, I can literally like take five to ten minutes and get everything that I want from her because she's been in front of the camera so long, she knows her body, she knows what to do. Okay, so you have a person like that, but then you have some new ones that come in, not necessarily are models, you see, not necessarily um, used to being in front of a camera. They love cosplay, they love these characters, and they want to be that character, and they design those characters, you see, and they put it on, but that does not necessarily make them. It takes a lot of time to, you know, get to the point where you're comfortable, and all it is, and that's with anything, and I've been, it's this new thing that I've kind of like picked up, um, listening to the rapper Macklemore, and um, you know, it's called 10,000 hours, you know, you put in your time, whatever you put in is what you're going to get out of anything in life, and it's like, yeah, you put on the armor, but you got to start feeling that character, start trying to be that character, so when you do get in the camera, you're that character, and even if you're not, Put in the work, start getting the camera more until you start to develop, you know, a comfort zone in front of the camera. And yeah, you're going to run into a lot of new cosplayers that don't know how to pose. That's not their fault. They haven't done it. They haven't done it. You know, we all start somewhere. But over time, you put in the work, you'll get the output. We all know cons and con going is very expensive. On top of that, you also have a lot of equipment. Do you get paid for your photography skills, or how do you how do you work with that? Um, for the most part, I don't. I just recently tried it out, um, but for the most part, it's like I did it for the love of it. And I have a I have a main job. My main job is a system administration, make a fairly decent amount of money to fund everything that I'm doing. You know, um, so I do have like a lot of strengths in that aspect. Whereas like I had a seven foot. Octobank just fall over in the wind and break 
and then the next day I was able to just go get another one and destroy it back up, you know, um, because I have in income already, you know. Um, as a cosplayer, I know that might be hard, you know, for a younger crowd, you know, because the majority of us um, are a younger demographic. And so not necessarily we have, like, system administration jobs to pay for our gear and stuff. So, you know, that that's pretty much how I fund everything. Um, as far as, like, hotel costs, what you can do is you team up with your friends, you split those costs. Bam, knock that out. Try to look for, like the best spots to eat you know um you don't want to necessarily eat at mcdonald's all the time <clears throat> but you know try to go cheap thank you for your time man appreciate it as always thank you man. this is jabri ranch with nerd caliber signing out